For its core strategy, South Gloucestershire Council is proposing the Park Farm area north of Castle School as its preferred location for housing development in Thornbury. To me, this seems nonsensical if the council wishes new housing to have a positive effect on the town's fragile economy. Several years ago, the town grew from its historical centre outwards to the north and east. This, together with increased use of cars and the construction of the mall in Cribs Causeway, has made out-of-town shopping a bigger attraction for consumers. When the council considered six option areas for housing development, I don't think that it gave an adequate appraisal of option four in area D. Option four lies to the south of Dag's allotments, although the core strategy is not clear on the exact limitations of any of the six options that it considered. The Council's appraisal of Option 4 on health issues seemed to ignore many nearby health facilities. A general practice, a dental surgery, three pharmacies, and four opticians. They are all located in the town centre. The St Mary Street Surgery The High Street Dental Practice Boots Lloyd's Pharmacy in the High Street and in Horseshoe Walk J. Luke in Chapel Street R.J. Manns in the High Street Thornbury Eye Centre in St Mary's Way and Norville Opticians in Horseshoe Lane The Council's appraisal of Option 4 on lifestyle and exercise issues seemed to ignore many nearby facilities, both public and private. The playing fields, a skate park, a golf centre, a fitness club, a community woodland and a leisure trail. They are all located around option 4. Monday Plainfields. It's the home of Thornbury Town Football Club. There are swings and other facilities for young children. There are tennis courts, some owned by the Town Council and some by the Tennis Club.
the leisure centre, managed by an outsourced trust, does get a mention. It is the venue for the weekly events of a number of local sports groups. The nearby skate park, it is not mentioned in the core strategy appraisal. The Golf Centre It is open over long hours Elite Fitness and Leisure is in St Mary Street Filnor Community Woodland is near to the Leisure Centre. Jubilee Way, which links the Cotswolds to the Severn Estuary, passes by the Leisure Centre, the Golf Centre entrance and Monday Plainfields. The Council's appraisal of Option 4 on cultural activities was abysmal. Planning officers did not seem to understand what culture was. Consequently, it missed out the town's main entertainment complex, a recently built community centre, local churches, the town's museum and the shopping centre. They are all located near to option 4. Armstrong Hall It has several regular annual monthly and weekly cultural events and some related to exercise. Cosham Hall It has several regular monthly and weekly cultural events. The Old Bakery Annex. It's the third main part of the Armstrong Hall complex. It also has several regular monthly and weekly cultural events. Turnberry's is the town's fairly new community centre. It has a variety of regular weekly activities, including one related to exercise. The United Reformed Church. It has monthly and weekly cultural events.
the Methodist Church. It also has some regular events. The Thornbury Museum has exhibitions throughout the year. The St Mary Centre also provides a venue for cultural activities. I have looked at option 4, but there's also land behind Monday Plainfields that could be used for housing. It is not being used for farming. Option 4, this additional land, and option 5 are all in Area D. They could be linked in an arch of development, making Monday Plainfields the town's central park. Much later in the future, Area E would be the sensible place to build. This development would not affect the view across the allotments over to the River Severn. The town is not visible from Bristol Road almost until arrival and this development would similarly not be seen. The core strategy appraisal acknowledges this. That's my case for Area D. Please feel free to comment. 